One of these bulbs is almost three times the cost of the other. Can you even tell a difference? We know high-end smart bulbs work well, but what about all the inexpensive ones on Amazon? I wanted to find out, so I went on Amazon and went a little crazy. I bought the top-rated multicolor smart light bulbs and a few companies sent us some review units as well, so let's compare them. I'm gonna break the bulbs into three categories. First, ones that you should avoid. Second, are inexpensive but good bulbs. And third, are high-end bulbs. And I'll compare them all, including the inexpensive versus pricey bulbs at the end. All of the bulbs in this video work with Alexa, Google Assistant, Ift, and you can schedule them to turn on automatically. First category, let me quickly show you which bulbs to avoid. And keep in mind, all of these bulbs have high ratings on Amazon, so don't be deceived. First, Magic Light. This bulb isn't that bright. The colors are also very dim. You can kind of change the white temperature between cool and warm, but it's not RGBW, it's just RGB and they're just trying to simulate it and it's not very good at all. And to make this bulb even worse, it kind of buzzes. So when the bulb is off, it's buzzing really loud and when it's on, it just kind of buzzes a little bit. It uses the Magic Home app. I really just don't recommend using the Magic Light. Next is Kongsi, and this bulb looks almost the exact same as Magic Light. I don't know if they're made from the same manufacturer or what. Luckily this bulb doesn't buzz like the other one, but it is Amazon's choice for best smart bulb. I don't even know how they even choose that, but I wouldn't recommend this bulb. You're better off donating your $15 to a charity or something. Here you go. Yay, thanks, Dad! The next category is affordable good bulbs, and the first three will cost you about 15 to 16 bucks, and they'll run on Wi-Fi so you won't need a hub. First, Tekken. And this is a big step up from the magic light bulbs we just saw, since it's about the same price. And it's pretty bright at 800 lumens for how cheap this bulb is, but you can't change the white temperature. So you can't do cool or warm whites. If you're fine not changing the white temperature, then this is a pretty decent bulb. The colors are good, and it uses the Smart Life app. Next is Acora. And it's very similar to Tekken, but you can adjust the white temperature. It's not quite as bright as Tekken at 600 lumens, so I guess it's a trade-off for not being able to adjust the white temperature, but it's still pretty bright and the colors look really good. It also uses the Smart Life app. The next is Legolite. And I'm pretty sure it's the exact same bulb as the Acora. I mean exactly, like it's the same box and everything. They just slapped a sticker on it to make it kind of look different, but you're not fooling me. It is a dollar cheaper than Acora, so I guess that makes it better, but it's the same brightness and colors and everything and it uses the Smart Life app. This next bulb is Sengled. This is still in the budget category, but it uses Zigbee Hub. Some people prefer that because it runs locally and frees up your Wi-Fi bandwidth and may be more reliable. The brightness is okay at 800 lumens, but the colors aren't the greatest. The blue is dull and the green looks average. The red's also not great. It's nice that you can connect it straight to smart things though, but if you don't have a hub, then you can get Sengled starter kit. Sengled does cost a little bit more, around $24 per bulb. In full disclosure, we receive a Sengled and LifeX bulbs for an unbiased review. If you're wondering how it compares against Hue, we'll be covering that in a second. The last section is high-end bulbs, and these will cost you a little bit more, but you'll get some extra things. So it might be worth the price, or it might not be. First, TP-Link. You don't need a hub with this one, so it uses Wi-Fi, and you may already have a TP-Link outlet or switch, so those will work with the same Casa app. The bulb seems pretty high quality, and it's heavier than the cheaper bulbs I mentioned earlier. Also, the colors are pretty accurate, and it seems like it's above average brightness, even though it's 800 lumens like some of the others. One nice feature is that you can monitor your bulb's energy usage within the app, but it's expensive for the brightness that it offers. Next, Philips Hue. And it's probably the most recognized smart light brand there is because they've been around for so long. It uses Zigbee like the Sengled bulbs. However, you have to buy the Hue bridge for these to work. Some nice things about Hue is that they have lots of accessories like motion sensors, switches, lamps, and other outdoor lights that make it easy to set up your whole home. If you can afford all that stuff, I guess. It's very compatible with all the other smart home devices. It's the same lumens as TP-Link, but it doesn't have that wow factor as I would expect at this price point. The colors are just average. Look at it compared to TP-Link and Legolite. It's good overall, but nothing really stands out. Finally, LifeX. Unlike Hue, LifeX is very bright and its colors are vibrant. LifeX doesn't use a hub, 
This used to cause occasional connection issues with the lights going offline, which is a reason a lot of people would get hue over LifeX, but LifeX is improved and now I experience almost no issues at all. LifeX also works with plenty of other smart home devices, and a big benefit is the LifeX app is well designed and easy to use. For example, with the Hue app, you can't specify what Kelvin or what white temperature specifically you want, but in LifeX, it's really easy. While these lights are vivid, they're expensive. You probably would wanna use LifeX lights in a few places and not replace every light bulb in your house. Let's look at some of the cheaper and nicer bulbs and see how they compare. First, Wi-Fi only bulbs. Between Legolite and TP-Link, I would go with Legolite. And these are the two that I showed you at the beginning. And you could almost buy three Legolite bulbs for the price of one TP-Link bulb. And there isn't much of a difference. LifeX blows both of them out of the water in every aspect. If you wanna pay more, then LifeX lights are gonna look the best. Now comparing Senglet and Philips Hue since they both use Zigbee instead of Wi-Fi. Hue is only slightly brighter when they are white, but when they change colors, it's much more drastic. Senglet's blue and red aren't very bright, but the other colors are better. If you want a less expensive bulb and color brightness isn't a big deal to you, then Senglet is a good option. If you want a Zigbee bulb with better colors and more accessories, then go with Hue. Comparing LifeX and Hue, in my opinion, LifeX is much better than Hue because of the brightness and colors. Looking at them side by side, you can see what I'm talking about. And if you have Philips Hue, you're probably already writing a comment on how much you hate me. Obviously, there's a lot of different ways you can compare these bulbs, and one of them I left out is IKEA Smart Bulb because they're not on Amazon and they don't really have too many color options. I'm pretty surprised to see these inexpensive bulbs keep up with the higher end ones, and I'm sure I left out a few bulbs that you think should have been included in this roundup. Let me know down in the comments and I'll try to include those in a follow-up video. Be sure to subscribe to see those videos in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Next time on Smart Home Solver. What are you gonna buy with your money? I'm gonna buy Rainbow Magic Light Bulb.